Thank you all. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. I love your products. I eat a little too much of them, as you can probably see. But it's wonderful to be with a terrific company like yours. Now, I've noticed as I, as I speak across the country that there are normally, let's see if this fits with our audience here, there are normally four different types of people that might be here. See if you fit in any of these four categories. One group of people that might be here are who I call the prisoners. You know, it's between the bar time and the dinner time, and you might have wished you were eating or drinking right now, and you might be a prisoner in here. If you are, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being a prisoner. However, when we walk out of here in the next hour and a half or two hours, whenever the total program is over with, I want you to be able to say that that was the greatest prison experience that you've ever had. <laughs> so if you're a prisoner, that's fine. Now, there's another group of people that, that are probably represented in our room today. It's what I call the vacationers. Now, I know you've been here for a couple of days, two and a half days, but, you know, anything to get me away from the normal course of business is okay. And so it's like a vacation for you. And if that's the case, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being on vacation. We want you to have a good time. And I know you've had a good time in the past couple of days. But what we want you to do while you're here and while in the short period of time that I have with you is while you're on that vacation, look for things that we'll be discussing that might make you a little bit better leader, that might provide you a little bit more information, a little bit better information so that you can make better decisions in your leadership role that you've taken. Because you know the people back home, all the people that report to us in here are depending upon us to become best, the best leaders that we can be. The way that we can make better employees is for us to become better leaders. So even if you're on vacation, that's okay. Let's work our way while we're here to become better at what we've chosen to do. Now there's a third group of people that might be in here. It's who I call the graduates. Hey, there ain't nothing this guy can tell me. I hadn't already heard. I read his book. I know everything he's going to say. But if you're a graduate, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being a graduate. But look for that, those one or two or three or four nuggets of information that maybe you've forgotten or maybe you just hadn't implemented yet that will help make you better at what you're trying to do. And then the fourth group, and I know we've got plenty of these in here. It's who I call the students. And what you're here for is that during the time that we have, you want to soak up everything that you can about this subject of leadership because you know how important it is. And so if you're a student, grab your pens, get ready. And we're going to go on a venture here for the next 40 minutes and talk about leadership and what we can do to become more effective at the jobs that we've chosen to do. Now there's a question that's being asked in rooms just like this all over America today. And that question is, how can we win? How can we win? You've talked about it for two days now on how you can win. Well, when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter what organization you're from. It doesn't matter what part of the country you're from. It doesn't matter what your products are. When it comes down to it, winning comes from leadership.